The psalmist in the 46th Psalm, verse 1, uh, says these famous words, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And the marginal reading says, an abundantly available help. A little story from my early days as a preacher. We had one little boy. We were living in a, a little one-bedroom cottage on the edge of town. And I had been invited to preach in Western Canada. And when the day arrived, I did not have a penny to leave my wife. Uh, I didn't know what to do. I had my ticket. And when I woke up that morning and looked outside, there was certainly more than a foot of snow, and it was snowing heavily. And the airport was an hour and a half away. I was not going to have my young wife with that little baby traveling over those roads. And so I called up the taxi service that would shuttle me over to the airport. I thought surely something would come in the mail, uh, something would arrive one way or another before I was to be picked up in the early afternoon. But the mail man passed our house and didn't even leave a piece of junk mail. And it seemed the Lord said to me, Nicholson, uh, not even unbelievers trust the mail system. You need to trust me. And so I thought, well, maybe some Christian who had perhaps written out a check as a little gift to us and had forgotten to give it to me on the Lord's Day would drive up the drive and give us the provision. But nothing came. And finally, I saw the shuttle pull in the driveway. It may have been foolhardy, I'm not sure at this point, but I was trusting in this God who is our refuge and strength. I prayed with my wife and said, Lord, please, you're going to have to undertake for us here. I don't have the money to pay this for this taxi ride to the airport. So carried my bag out and put it in the car and I climbed in and we started off down the road. Well, this was quite some years ago and the the driver had a bad habit of smoking one cigarette after another, and I was just about choking. I, I was looking for an opportunity to speak to him about the Lord, and when we began to talk, I began to share with him the fact that I was a servant of God, that I spent my life traveling here and there and preaching the Word of God, and I explained the gospel to him. Well, that was kind of a two-edged sword, because once I had committed myself to being the Lord's servant, it was his honor that was at stake now if I didn't have the money to pay. The driver asked me at some point along the way, and, and the road conditions were just abysmal, he said, uh, so what did you do before you went out preaching? And I said, well, um, I was a graphic artist. And he said, you know, that's so interesting because this was the day of everyone had CB radios. And he said, I, I belong to a group called the Good Samaritans, and we like to stop and help people who are in trouble. And we keep our CB radios live so that we can uh, catch calls of distress and come to help. He had chosen as his handle, as his nickname on the CB radio, the name of a cartoon character called Hagar the Horrible. And so he asked if I would design him a little monogram with the letters HTH. And I said, well, I'm not really in the art business anymore. And he said, well, what would it cost if, uh, if you actually did design it? And I said, well, I, you know, my minimum hourly rate in those days, believe it or not, was about $20 an hour. Now the taxi ride was $16. And I said, you know, I'd probably have to charge you 20 or $22 an hour. He said, well, couldn't you do it for me in the car? And I said, well, I, I really, you know, I'm not sure I would do anything that was acceptable to you. He said, I think you could. Why don't you go ahead? Well, it suddenly struck me that this was not only an opportunity to perhaps have the Lord's provision to pay for my taxi ride, but maybe an opportunity to keep the fellow from killing himself with tobacco smoke and me in the process. And so I said, listen, I don't have any paper, but give me your cigarette pack there. And I opened up the box 
and I began to draw the monogram in, on the inside flap of the box. And of course I made sure I was working out it until we pulled into the airport and it was the last cigarette he smoked. Uh, so when we pulled into the airport, uh, he was overjoyed with the little monogram that I drew and um, he gave me $20 and I gave him 16 back and I had $4 left to buy my lunch. And I've often thought about that little story. It seemed a simple thing at the time. It wasn't any great act of faith on my part. I was sort of pushed along, it seemed, by circumstance. And yet it was another reminder from the Lord that he is a very present help. He was in the car with us that day. He's standing by, ready to help. And I think this is one of the things that delights his heart. There's a strange little verse that says, that thy name is near, thy wondrous works declare. In other words, as the Lord moves along in our lives, we see little hints, little kind things, little good things that the Lord does to remind us that he's standing by. May the Lord encourage our hearts to lay hold of this glorious truth that the Lord is our refuge and strength. In other words, wherever we go, we're surrounded by him. We're protected by him. And nothing can come to us, but first it goes through him. He is our refuge and our strength and a very present help in times of trouble. <music>